It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I wanted to kind of just give my thoughts on on this. This isn't this isn't like specific news or anything, but this is more so like a a perspective video, uh, so to speak, if you will. So, you know, we know that Nayoa the Monster Inoue, he just came up with a devastating second round knockout over Nonito Donaire in their rematch. We know the week before that Stephen Fulton fought former unified champion Danny Roman, you know, uh, who was looked at to be in the eyes of many, and I was not, not many, but the eyes of some, a loud minority that um, he was look, he was looked at to be maybe his toughest test to date, and it wasn't that for him. So you got these two guys, one guy who's been dominating the bantamweight division, the other guy who's been dominating the super bantamweight division. So much so to the point where these guys now, the only things they have left, left to do in these respective weight classes is to fight one more opponent for Undisputed. Fulton still has to fight Merjon for uh, two of the other belts, and Anoye would have to fight Paul Butler uh, for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the last belt at Benhamweight. So, right? so let's just say this. Presumably, let's just say they both win those fights because I believe both would be favorites going into those fights. Anoye would be... An extremely heavy favorite or Paul Butler. It might even be the biggest, like most lopsided uh fight, undisputed fight in the history of boxing if we're talking about on paper and odds, you know. Um you got Fulton, right? A fight with him emerge on Akmandali is much more competitive than or looked at to be much more competitive than Inoue versus Paul Butler. But, but but nonetheless, if they were to both win those fights, they would establish themselves as both the undisputed champions, the king of their divisions, the Dundadas, the head honchos of their respective weight classes, which would then kind of present like a Wilfredo Gomez, Salvador Sanchez type of scenario where you have the opportunity to make a, 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 a super fight in the lower weight classes between, you know, a great and exceptional uh, little man and a, 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 a great big man in, in, in Fulton, you know? So... Let's talk about it. Inoue versus Fulton because, um, man, this is, you know, I, I, I put out a tweet about this the other day on my Twitter account. But by the way, if you're on Twitter, make sure you go follow me and shoot me a tweet, DM me, whatever, uh, at True School Sports. The same way this channel is spelled, at True School Sports. Let me know something and I'll get back to you. But anyway, um, I tweeted on, the, on my Twitter account the other day that, that if it came down to it and I had to pay $1,000 for Inoue versus Fulton on pay-per-view, I would pay the $1,000, okay? Um, this is a fight that I like a lot because you have the monster Inoue who has been along with like Roman Chalatillo Gonzalez and the guy with Stratas and, and I guess you can now put Fulton in that mix. These guys have been the dominant, you know, sub-126 fighters of their time, right? Especially Inoue, you know, the way he scaled weight classes, the kind of skills he's shown, the blend of speed, power, versatility, defense. I mean, he's he's about as complete as it gets in the sport right now. And to see him go up in weight and wait and challenge a guy like Stephen Fulton, who I know people want to overlook him because that's been the case. I don't know why, but it is. He's fought everybody and their mother at 122. The last three opponents, uh, his last three opponents have been the three, three of the top five guys at 122. He beat, he beat my guy, my friend, Angel Leo, which I'm still kind of salty about, but he beat him, so I know he's a very good. I know, I knew then Fulton was the truth when he beat Angelo on the inside, nonetheless. Um, then he beat Brandon Figueroa in a fight that people said was close. I didn't, I didn't think it was no controversial fight. I thought Fulton won pretty clearly. And then uh, he absolutely schooled Danny Roman the way nobody's ever schooled Danny Roman, who was a former unified champion, but, but, but made him look like a C-class fighter. So he's shown himself to be an A-level fighter, to having one of the best jabs in boxing, to, to being able to beat these, 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 these pressure fighters all on the inside. I like this matchup because for Fulton, right? Stephen Fulton is a guy that, for lack of a better term, he's, he's feasted on the, the come forward uh, Mexican pressure style. All his best wins are against that, that, that kind of fighter. Roman, Leo, Figueroa, Adam Lopez. You know, we haven't really seen Fulton fight too many aggressive boxer punchers. And that's the, in, to me, when I think about an Inouye Fulton match, that's the, that's the intriguing thing about the fight is, you know, uh, Inouye, yes, He's turned pro at a smaller weight, but uh, like like Sean Porter said in our interview, and shout out to Sean Porter, um, he he made a great point. You know, Anoy's getting big for 118. 
So you, you, you may see him go to 122 and he feels out even more. And he might even be more devastating at 122, which is a scary thought because he's already, he's already devastating enough at 118. But um, seeing how Fulton deals with that sort of boxer puncher style is very intriguing to me. And then on the flip side, Monsters fought some very good fighters, you know, whether it be you know, Donaire, um, Emmanuel Rodriguez, um, you know, Narvaez in the early years, Ryoji Taguchi. Uh, Adrian Hernandez, he's fought a whole host of, of, of top guys around his weights, but I don't think he's ever fought anybody with the athleticism or the speed or the or the variation of the jab like Fulton. So you got two guys who I really think have the potential to bring the best out with each other. And generally speaking, when you have a fight where guys bring out the best in each other, that, that that's that's generally a, a, a big fight, a super fight, and a fight that uh, people can get, can get excited about. You know, I feel like, you know, there's a uh, there's a contingent of people out there that still aren't fully sold on Anoye. Like I saw Shakur Stevenson's tweet tweet today, and he was question uh, he was questioning why Anoye was over Earl Spence, which I thought was laughable because Anoye is way better than Earl Spence. 18 and 0, 16 knockouts in championship fights that can't be disputed. So any sp any talk of Earl Spence being a better fighter than the monster is is, is is foolishness to me. But um, hey, that's his opinion. We all have our own opinions. I'm sure I got some foolish opinions that in the eyes of other people as well. So it's it's, it's why we love boxing. But um, there's people out there that still aren't sold on Anoy to that degree, right? So a fight against a guy like Fulton, who has feasted on undefeated fighters. I mean, damn near, damn near half his record is undefeated fighters. Um, <clears throat> this is the fight that I really think more so than any other fight could put him over the top. And then for Fulton... People still think he lost to Brandon Figueroa, which I think is ridiculous, but it, it is what it is. Um... In the eyes of many, he has, he still has some things to prove. Not to me, because to me, he proved himself a long time ago when he beat Angelo Leo. Listen, I know Angelo, my friend. I know how good he is. Uh, people will find out how good he is when he starts getting active again and fighting at 126 and, and, and one day becomes two-time champion, becomes featherweight champion. But, you know, that's a great win, you know, for your first world title. Uh, for any world title, but especially your first world title. So, you know, you got him. Who, 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 he's got, so he still has a lot of things to prove. Um, the question about this fight is, like, could it actually... Could it realistically get made? Because, you know, for good, bad, or indifferent, the reality is, if history tells us anything, Al Heyman, PBC, and all parties involved uh, are going to make this fight di very difficult to make because of the fact that, um, you know, they, it's, I mean, we see what, we, we, we've seen what's gone on with Crawford and Spence. Still hasn't gotten made at the time you shoot this video. Uh, we've seen Kovalev, Donna Stevenson. We saw when, when Korobov was supposed to fight Peter Quillen, how that worked out. And those are just a couple of examples of how Al Heyman, PBC, the PBC henchmen, and all parties involved on that side have, for good, bad, or indifferent, um, blocked fights, prevented big fights from happening, prevented, prevented, prevented fights that fans wanted to see from happening. So I'm going to say this. There, um, I don't know if there's many fights in boxing I want to see more than this one. This, one. this one's right up there because of the fact that these guys have unquestionably well, you can maybe you can't say unquestionably, unquestionably because they still gotta they come undisputed. But they have been the most impressive fighters in the weight classes for prolonged periods of time. But while doing that, they, they both are still in need of that one signature, like Sab, like I said, Salvador Sanchez, or Wilfredo Gomez type of a super fight. And I think this is that unique opportunity to make that kind of fight. You know what I'm saying? So I would love it. The boxer puncher, all around style of the monster Anoe versus the one of the most versatile fighters we have in the, in the complete boxers we have in the sport today, Stephen Fulton, beating you inside, beating you outside, beating you mid-range, beating you, you know, he just showed himself to be a really, really world-class fighter, and I think a fight against Anoya would have Cool Boy have to get all the way in his bag to come out victorious, and, and, and likewise goes for the monster, so that, that's the intrigue of it all, but I want to see this fight, you know, let's, uh, let's try to get these undisputed fights done before the end of the year, if these guys are as good as we, as we think they are, Fulton will find a way to beat Merjan Akhmadaliyev and, and, and Inouye will beat Paul Butler and they'll be undisputed, which will then set up undisputed champion versus undisputed champion, big super fight. What more could you ask for? Al Heyman, PBC, someone from PBC, if you see this video, don't fuck this one up. If it, if, 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 if it becomes a possibility to make this fight, don't mess it up, please. Don't do it for the fans. Do it do it for Japan. Do it for the Japanese market. Do it for Philadelphia. Do it for boxing at large and, and do it because it's, 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 it's going to be a big money fight. Uh, in this division, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me.
but I'm just I'm just gonna give him Daniel. So until next time. Thank yeah. you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here. Boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God.